Welcome to the Pilates Show, where we explore Pilates tips and techniques to help deepen the skill level of the movement educator while having fun. Hi, Jen and April here again, and we have another protocol with the smart spine. This time we're using the, the long smart, smart spine product that's, that was actually created so it could talk to the whole spine. But in this protocol, we're going to be talking to the width of the back, and we're going to be talking to really mobilizing the ribs on the spine. Now, primary, this is just important for good breathing, but especially if you want to start to bring your clients into all the wonderful movements that we do in Pilates, again, just like the globe release, this is a really necessary one. A uh, one that can prep them into better movement. So we're going to have the contents of the smart spine towards the center of the smart spine. And I'm going to place this um, at the ribs, at the level of the tips of her shoulder blades. So April is connecting to the heat and the weight of the smart spine right now. And then I'm going to take the smart spine on both sides. Now, this is a lot of work for the teacher, and you have to practice to make sure that you're not taking too much tension into your body, that you're using your upper body in the right way and your body mechanics. So it takes a lot of practice. So I'm gonna hold on. I'm pulling the smart spine down, so I give her more weight, and I'm gonna ask her to inhale into the heat, and then on the exhale, I rotate the smart spine down. And then I want her to inhale again. So she's mobilizing the ribs that are above the heat. Exhale, soften. And I'm locking down the ribs that the smart spine is on. Again, inhale, breathing into the rib tissue above the smart spine. And then exhale and release. Good. And then I move the smart spine down a rib or two, and I'll do the same thing. So what I'm doing with that locking down of the rib that's under the smart spine is I'm keeping that rib on the exhale movement, right? So that rib and the intercostals that are connected to it are staying down so that she's able to actually mobilize what's above. Let's try it again. So she's connecting with the weight and the heat. She takes a deep inhale. I'm pulling it apart. And then on the exhale, I'm rotating the smart spine down and locking it down. And she's gonna tell me if it's too much pressure. Inhale, breathing above the smart spine. Exhale, she wants to notice that she's letting go of her arms, her legs, her feet, and her toes. And one more long, deep inhale, really trying to balance the uh, the intercostal tissue, both the internal and the external intercostals. Good. Let's bring it down one more. And we'll do the same thing. So she'll take a deep inhale into the heat. On the exhale, I'm rotating and locking it down, and she breathes. So it's very important that um, the intercostal tissue be talked to, and it has its own pulsation of opening and closing, which opens and closes the ribs, which also talks, of course, to the spine and the thoracic area. So the intercostals are one of our deepest structures of, of rotation. And if those stay locked down, then we don't get from the deepest part in our body the message of rotation. So this is a really wonderful way to do it. And then release. And the heat, the heat talks differently to muscle and fascia. So heat talks to muscle about contraction, and it talks to fascia about lengthening. So you are getting in every muscle fiber in your body that the, the heat's talking to with, with this conscious breathing, you're getting this oppositional pull. So the smart spines are really such a valuable tool for you to use. That's it for today. If you have a different take on today's subject or if there's anything you'd like to see covered in an upcoming episode, we'd love to hear from you. Comment below on Facebook, Twitter, or in the forum at fusionpilatesedu.com. See you next time and never stop learning.